people keep their apartment guests busy by gossiping or feeding them, but if you're anything like me, you might keep them busy by playing hangman on your laptop for a few hours. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to code a very simple game of Hangman in Python so that you or like anybody that you know can play against the computer and keep yourself entertained. So let's just dive right in. So the first thing that we have to do for Hangman is we have to choose a random English word. So I actually went on Stack Overflow and I found this uh, very relevant question, how to pick a random English word from a list. And if you scroll down a little bit, there's this like JSON file um, that's linked. So I'm just going to click on that. And when I open it, there's all of this text. Um, and basically what this is, is it's just a very long list of words that uh, we can use for hangman. So I can copy and paste this entire list of English words into a Python file. And I can assign it to the variable words, which we can use in our hangman game later. So now I can open a hangman file and I know that I want to be able to choose randomly from this word list so I'm going to import random. And then also I know that um, I want the word list that I just made and I called my file words.py. So in my hangman file I'm going to say from words, which is words.py, import words. And that second words is just this variable words. So now if I print out words in my hangman file, I would be able to get that entire list of words that I just copy and pasted. So the first step in actually getting our computer to play hangman with us is the computer has to figure out a word for us to guess. So we just got this entire list of words um, into this Python file and now we just have to randomly select a word from it. But you'll notice if you look through this word list that some of them actually have spaces and dashes in the middle of the word, which we can't exactly guess in Python um, or in Hangman. So we actually have to keep choosing a word until we get a valid word that we can guess in Hangman. So in order to do that, I'm going to define a function called getValidWord. And I'm going to pass it a list of words. So the first thing I'm going to do is assign you know, the word to random.choice words. And what random.choice is, it, it takes in a list and it randomly chooses something from that list. So I'm just going to get a random word from this list. And I'm going to make a while loop saying while dash or space is in this word, keep choosing the word. So what this while loop does is as long as this statement is true, it just keeps iterating back and forth until it's not true anymore, which means that when it stops iterating, we'll get a word that doesn't have a space or a dash in it. And then finally, we're just going to return that word. We need to be able to keep track of which letters we've guessed and which letters in the word we've correctly guessed. We also need a way to keep track of what is a valid letter and what is it. So now we're going to set that up. I'm going to have word letters, a variable that saves all the letters in a word as a set. And this we'll use as a way of keeping track of what's already been guessed in the word. And then I'm going to have an alphabet. And basically I'm just going to import um, this already predetermined list of like uppercase characters in the English dictionary. Um, and then I'm going to have an empty set called use letters, which I will use in order to keep track of what the user has guessed. All right, so now we're going to get some user input. So basically what we can do is we can just ask for user input in Python directly. And if we run this in terminal, then the user can type in, you know, a character and we can use that as input. So we're going to save that as a letter and I'm just going to uppercase this because I'm just going to do everything in uppercase. A lowercase a in Python is different than an uppercase a. So if you try to test equality between those two strings, um, it actually won't be equal. So I'm just going to do everything in uppercase. And basically, if I'm going to, I'm going to say, okay, if this is already, if this is a valid character in the alphabet that I haven't used yet, then I'm going to add this to my use letters set. 
And then if the letter that I just guessed is in the word, then I'm going to remove that letter from word letters. So every single time I guess correctly, then this word letters, which is keeping track of all the letters in a word, decreases in size. And then if this user letter that the user just entered is in used letters, then that means that they've already used it before and it's an invalid guess. So I'm just going to print something saying you literally just guessed that word or that letter. Otherwise, that means that, you know, they typed in something that's not in the alphabet and it's not in the used letters that they've already guessed. So that just means that they've typed in a wrong character and we're going to print an error message saying you didn't type in a valid character. So now that we can get the user input, we want the user to be able to keep guessing until they get the word. So in this case, we're going to be using a loop. And loops are basically just a way to, you know, loop around your code and iterate. So in this specific case, I want to use a while loop because I want the user to just to keep guessing until they actually guess the word. And because every single time we're removing a letter from word letters, um, which is a set of the letters in the word that we haven't seen yet, I'm just going to keep decrementing that. So the condition that I have to satisfy for when the user gets all the letters in the word is when the length of word letters is actually equal to zero. So while the length of word letters is greater than zero, I'm going to keep iterating through this input until they guess all of the letters. So my while condition is going to be while the length of word letters is greater than zero, iterate. So let's just add that in there. So before we can actually play this game of hangman, we need two things that we need to tell the user. So the first thing is what letters they've already used so that they can keep track of what they've already guessed. So we're just going to have a simple print statement and then we're going to say space.join use letters. And what this dot join does is it turns this list into, or iterable, into a string separated by whatever the string is before the dot join. So in this case, each of these letters will be in a string separated by a space. The second thing that we need to do is we need to tell the user what the current word is, but with dashes where the characters that they haven't guessed are. So in this case, I'm going to first create a list where every single letter that they've guessed is shown and where all the letters that they haven't guessed are just dashes. And then I'm going to take that list and I'm going to join it with a space just like above so that we can create a string using that list. In that game, I literally could have guessed as many times as I wanted to. So let's make this a little bit more fun. Let's introduce the concept of lives into Hangman because usually in Hangman, you can only guess until the guy is dead, right? So let's say that live, let's say you get six lives. So the first thing we have to do is if the user has the letter in word letters, then you want to remove the letter. But if they don't, then that's when you want to take away a life. So with my lives variable, which is set to six at the beginning, I'm just going to subtract one there. And I'm going to tell the user that your letter, user letter, is not in the word. And then everything else should stay the same. Now at the very beginning, I'm going to say where, the, um, where I show the user the letters that they've already used, I'm, going, I'm just going to tell them, you have X lives left. And then, you know, they can guess the letter. And right now, our while loop condition is set to, as long as they still have to guess more letters in the word, they keep playing. But now we have another condition, right? We have the condition of lives. 
So as long as either A, they haven't won yet, which is when the length of the word letters is greater than zero, or B, when they haven't died yet. So up here, we're going to add another condition in this while loop. We're going to say while the length of the word letters is greater than zero and lives greater than zero, then we want them to be able to guess. This means that as soon as they either win, when, they, when they've guessed all the letters, then they exit this while loop. Or when they've died, when lives equals zero, they exit this while loop. So at the very end, right now we're telling them that they've guessed the word um, correctly, but now that's not the condition anymore for this while loop. We also have an aspect of lives. So if the lives equals zero, then they actually died. So we say, sorry, you died. The word was blank. Otherwise, in this else statement, we can say, yay, you guessed the word. So now let's try a game of hangman with all of these different components. Mm -hmm.